I have never been in the paddocks where the cars are, where the racers are. That's crazy. It's under two seconds. You can't pay for this. Good morning from downtown Austin. It's Friday of F1 race weekend, and I have some special passes. I'm gonna show you my experience at an F1 race. What is it like? Let's go see some fast cars in Austin, Texas, and have some fun today. First things first. We gotta get into our car. <laughs> Here we go. And look who I've got with me, my buddy Anwar Beck. Woo. He is the mayor of Austin. <laughs> unofficial. Unofficial, yeah. And he is partners with the best realtor in Austin. Matt, Matt Holm. Holm. That's right. Have you, wait, last year you took a helicopter we to did. F1. We helicoptered. You guys know I'm an engineering nerd. So F1 is like the sport for nerds. Okay. What does it do to the city of Austin? It changes our city completely. Check out this parking. We just rolled up. That is the paddock. You can hear cars going around. There's the racetrack. They're not F1 cars, I don't think. We are here as guests of Ferrari and Bitdefender who sponsors Ferrari. So, I don't know where I'm going. This is the Ferrari Club. We just checked this in, they put a Ferrari sticker on here, and then we get to go and sit down. Like, this is exclusive, you can't pay for this. You have to be a sponsor to be able to get in here. And luckily, we've worked with a company called Big Defender for a few times, and they said, hey, do you wanna come and be our guest today with Team Ferrari? Because they they do sponsor Ferrari. They have like a logo on their hat and on their shirt. So, I think we get food in here, we just connect it to the Wi-Fi, and we're gonna look over and see the race that's going on today. This is what it's like at the Paddock Club. You walk out this door. All these little cars, everybody's leaving the pit right now. Like maybe the Porsche race is over. Look at this, dude, we're so close. We are so close. The Ferraris actually pit stop right here during the race. Unfortunately, I'm sad to tell you, I do not have Paddock Club tickets on Sunday for the race. I just have it for today. But I think today they have some sort of testing with the F1 cars. They did say that they have the Ferrari champagne that the Ferrari racers will drink if they actually win. They have it inside the Paddock Club. I don't drink alcohol, but that's still a cool thing that they have it there. All right, so all the drivers are coming in. This is like the red carpet area where they come in. And we're waiting for the Ferrari guy. Like, we're here with Ferrari. Let's see him. And there he is. All right, let's Team go Ferrari. Ferrari. Carlos! Carlos! Yoo hoo! Of course, my buddy Amwar Beck gets him to look up and wave because he is the chief fun officer of everything. He was at the party last night, dude. There's my guy, Daniel Ricardo. Wow, today we're Team Ferrari, but allowing me Team Daniel Ricardo because he's so nice. Look at him, see, he's spending time with the kids. He got Netflix filming him coming in. So check it out, these giant semi-trucks are coming and they're gonna have us get on the semi-truck to go take a little tour. I'm on the track. I'm on the actual track now. 13 stories up into turn one. And at the apex, enjoy. Look at all the people out there. Hi, people. Enjoy the grass. We're getting past. We're approaching the second corner of this beautiful track again. Um, it really is a very, very fast section, but it's only one of these. Very fast, you can see. You can see how open and these corners are. You'll be flat out seventh gear over here. When you watch it in person, if you get the chance to come over here, it looks like you're watching a YouTube video at like times three speed. They were saying that there's a few bumps that they noticed over the last couple of days, and they're actually going to sand down or grind down to make it a little flatter for the F1 cars. Those guys are full of information. It's like a four mile track, we just took a lap around it. I took a lap. That was so cool. Now we're gonna go to the pits. We're gonna see the cars and see what it's like. Like we're just walking down the pit and there should be, yeah, there's tons of people, but we should have a good view of everything. Oh look, the lights, there's the lights. Yeah. 
I get distracted easily. That's so cool. Look at those tires. Going off-roading. Off-roading, yeah, F1 style. So check it out, all these guys are ready right now to practice doing the big catch. They're gonna push it in. <laughs> That's crazy. It's under two seconds. It's so fast. Hey, you gotta practice. Everybody else can go out here somehow because of Bit Defender. They let us get up here close. We've got Mercedes on this side, Ferrari right here, and Red Bull over there. I mean, the three best for sure. We are now taking a tour, an official tour. This is the garage. This is legit the garage. My goodness. We got uh, some stretching going on. This is the pit crew and they gotta get their arms and their body ready to go. You cannot mess up if you're the pit crew. This is really the end. They have a rope and they walk with it and they push us all. This isn't their first rodeo. They've gotta push everybody out of the area, the pit all the time, but how cool. We gotta go inside of the garage. I'm not sure if our badges let us come down here, but they let us come in here. So we're here right now. Look at the Mercedes one. They have like a full on metal thing. It looks almost like a car. That's legit. Oh, the Mercedes logo in there. That's cool. And then here we go, Ferrari. We got the Ferrari set up right here. And then there you go, that's where the drivers go in, right there. And then here is Team Red Bull. The cool logos going in there. And that's what it looks like walking into Red Bull. That's where the drivers go, or the ladder guy goes that way. So we just took a picture with this guy that is, I think, a famous F1 driver, but we don't know who he is. I apologize to all of you that I don't know who he is. That's who we took a picture with. We just walked up and took a selfie with him. So um, that's what happens when we're in the area we're not supposed to be in here. I gotta be honest, I'm a little bit surprised at the quality of the track here. It is like all cracked up, it's old asphalt. These cars should have some better asphalt, I would think. Not sure what these cars were doing driving on the track, but they just got done. I mean, cool cars. Somehow we have to go this way and follow them. We'll wait, we'll wait for the cars. Yeah. That green one is so awesome. It's like, what am I doing here? Just definitely don't belong, but here we are. All right, now we can go out. We are two minutes away from them actually starting their practice run, so I'm excited to see what, to hear what an F1 race car actually sounds like. And it's really cool that we're just right above the pit. Like this is where they're gonna come right out and drive. I don't think I can film much of the race or anything at all about the race just because there's certain regulations and ownership of the content and all that stuff. So, but I can film them coming out of the pit and show them, so. Oh baby. It is a 13 story climb to go up that hill right there. 13 stories. All right, Team Ferrari. Oh no. <laughs> oh baby, oh baby, Ferrari. like boom, not messing around. They're all doing a lap. I think they said it's 4.2 miles. It's one of the longer tracks. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. Wow. Okay, 10 out of 10 on the food. Unbelievable how good it is. You can just sit in here and eat, and then you can just go walk right there and see the race and see them pit. The Paddock Club experience. I did talk to somebody that it came down here from Seattle, somebody that recognized me from my videos, and he said that he spent $8,000 for one ticket and he gets to be in this paddock club every day, even the race day. And so I can see if you're gonna come to this, that could be the value. 
I've also heard though that even being in the grandstands is a phenomenal experience during the race and there's tons of food options that you have to buy but still one of those moments where I don't feel like I belong here but I'm gonna take it in and enjoy it. Well that's it for the uh, practice session. Pretty good. They actually had a ranking for how well they did and I think it was Max Verstappen took number one and then Charles with Ferrari took second and then Lewis Hamilton took third. So good job. Good job by Team Ferrari. I think we're gonna take off now. Amazing experience. So cool. We've got a guy that works for us. His name's Corey Smith. I feel like he looks just like Daniel Ricardo. So what I'd like to do sometime, maybe I'll do it in Vegas. There's a little sneak peek. I think I'm gonna bring him to Vegas and just have him wear Red Bull stuff or whatever it is that Daniel Ricardo's wearing. Grow the beard out the same as what he's doing. And just walk around and see if people think that it's him. That sounds fun. Look we already, at we already, those we already hats. Out. Wow, that's the way right there. Coming soon to Netflix. Boom.